Hello guys, my name is Steven and today I'll be teaching you how to make a uh, in uh, thumbnail on Photoshop and for this particular video I will be making a card thumbnail and only the and um what was I gonna say uh and you can exchange the the guns for you know something different if you're not doing gaming videos or like you're doing a Minecraft video you can exchange it for like Steve or something but I just thought I'd make a COD video since a lot of people who subscribe to me are playing COD. So, set it as 1280p by 720p. Press Ctrl N to make a new one so it disappears. And make it transparent background contents. So the first thing I'm going to do is go, gonna go ahead and make a new layer so it can add a layer of color on the edges of the, of the, of the canvas. So use the brush tool and I like to use 600 pixels and the first option I'm not sure what that's called um, and you can choose whatever color you want um, now this is the wrong color I'm gonna go into swatches and I'm gonna choose a light blue for this particular video and what I suggest to you guys who are making thumbnails is to use like the color a lot of people like the color red and blue and those are the colors that uh, uh, attract most of the people most people's eyes uh, ex especially red so if you have like a like a YouTube any YouTube tutorial or anything I recommend you do red um, anything about money obviously do it green like if someone someone can search up um like how to make money on YouTube make it green don't make any other color so I'm gonna set the opacity of this layer at 75% and I'm gonna select a gun or something. Maybe no, not this gun. This gun's ugly. Um, I'm not sure what gun I'm gonna choose. Um, what I suggest to you guys as well is to make your title or your thumbnail text like two to two to like six words max. Because if you add a little too many words, it's hard to read because you will have to shrink it down to uh, fit all the words in, or people just don't want to read it. If you add like thumbnail tutorial, people read it. But if you write how to make a thumbnail tutorial in Photoshop CS6 2050, no one's gonna read that, man. And I suggest you never do one word thumbnails. That's just weird. Just like, like no one's gonna read that unless it's like it takes up the whole. Like there's no way to like emphasize that without making it cover the whole thumbnail. Like if, I'm not sure if that makes sense. So here I'm gonna press right right click and press blending options. And I'm gonna use the same color I used as the first layer that I you know painted around the edges. I'm gonna use that same exact color. So let me exit out of here. Let me exit out of here and um, find that color by pressing on the layer and pressing on the color and copying and pasting that little code HTML, I think. I think that's what it's called. And go ahead and go on to the the gun again. Go on blending options and go on out inner and outer glow. That's what I'm gonna do today. And paste it into there. And follow all these steps. If I'm going too fast at any point in this video, go ahead and feel free to stop the video or go back if you already passed the part you wanted to watch. Like this video if you um enjoy this video. Obviously, if you do not like this video, go ahead and dislike body. I don't really care um and yeah dislike bought it and if you have any suggestions or comments for me i'll uh, reply for sure i reply to all my comments so yeah so here i'm gonna do the same exact thing for both and for this whole video you're gonna use the same exact color for the background for the gun for the text you're gonna use the same color okay and if you guys search up like search up um things you know um search up uh like pretend you're making a video on how to make thumbnails like I am right now um, half of them have sh like horrible thumbnails so if you were so if you were to um go onto the first page and that's that's pretty hard but like that's pretty hard but you know if if you're like the only good thumbnail out there and you're using my tutorial you got to thank me for that but um, people are gonna select the best thumbnail since it's about how to make a good thumbnail you know you gotta make your titles interesting 
so people click on it and make your thumbnails interesting so people click on it so here you see that awesome background I just chose I'm gonna go to blending options and select Satan no no the Satan 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 um, I'm gonna select, select satin and paste that same code that color code thing and make it 100% opacity next thing I think this there's nothing really else to do besides the text this time and this is where it's really important to select a really good text if you select some straight text like especially for like gaming videos I wouldn't recommend you to select the default like fonts like uh, Arial and um, what's it uh, New York Times and stuff download fonts go on dofont.com and you, you can see some sick text you can use in your thumbnails do not use impact please and uh, just just download a lot of download of a lot of uh, different fonts this font is called true lies I like this and here you see I'm not just gonna write zombies after this like if you just write zombies that's just boring once and click on it because it's really small so I, I'm, I don't know what to add as my subtext I, 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 I'm telling you guys you guys have to do more than a word and don't do too much and don't do too less words so around 50 it looks good So go to blending options and I'm going to do the same thing but only do outer glow this time for the text. Or is it? In, no, it's outer glow. It's outer glow. And uh, I'm going to paste that same color again. That's why it's so simple about my tutorials, bro. Go go like and comment, man. And my battery uh, for my laptop is really low. So <laughs> I got to hurry this up for you guys. Um... If you guys enjoy watching, obviously go like it. Any support helps. So I'm gonna turn this blue. And um, one last tip I have for you guys is to make the like the top text like white or black or whatever like a, a shade, and make the bottom color the same color as the background color, and that just really helps em emphasize. Em uh, yeah, emphasize. Um, just um, just look better. Just look ten times better. If both of them were blue or both of them white, that looks ugly, man. And that's what um, I've only been using Photoshop for ever since I started my YouTube channel. I never used Photoshop before I started my YouTube channel. I started my YouTube channel like four weeks ago, and look how good I did. It's all because practice, 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 and that's what thumbnails. Uh, that, that's how YouTube works. Just um, make if you keep practicing these thumbnails, just it's gonna it's just gonna get better and better. So here I have another, I believe another wallpaper. I want to add, no, another gun. Yeah, ray gun. Just to match the theme. And here, if you want to um, get the, uh, do the same thing, but don't want to spend so much time um, doing the, you know, the, the glow outside the gun, uh, just right click on the layer and press copy layer style and then paste it onto another layer. Just, I did, just what I did with the left, the gun on the left. And here, the final thing I would like to do is do something called um, lighting, no, no, not lighting effects, um, lens flare. And I like to use the last one called, I'm not even sure what it's called. Oh, you guys would see right here. You're right there. Right, right there. Movie Prime. And I like to put it on whatever objects there is or at the title like there that looks pretty nice and thank you for watching guys My name is Steven. Uh, I make tutorials like this if you guys enjoy these tutorials Go ahead and leave a like comment subscribe everything you can dislike bought it. I don't care and Right now I'm gonna teach you guys how to uh, change the color Go on saturation hue select all the layers and press saturation hue and here you can change the color by just sliding it left and right and you can change the saturation and make it darker or make it more popping out when the color pop out and yeah sorry if i talk too fast it just because i talk fast thanks for watching and here's, here's how you save it press save and press save as png and press save press ok you are set thanks for watching i'm out Thank <laughs> you.